teachers need to inspire regardless of where, you know, what level they are. Um, they also need to like it. I think um, uh, you see as sometimes as teachers go along in their career, they, they don't always seem to like it as much as the younger ones. So I think, I think that they should, you should know they like it the whole time. She didn't really, uh, she didn't connect with us. She was just sitting there, like she would tell us some stuff and then she would just sit down at her desk and do, uh, get on her computer or talk on the phone and tell us just to do our work. And if we needed help, we would raise our hand and she would tell us to wait and then she would never come. Oh, it would be high school, 10th grade. I had a coach who didn't want to be there. I don't know how long he'd been teaching and coaching. And he would come in. It was my first class of the day. He'd come in and read the paper. And he'd put our assignment up on the board. And we were supposed to read the assignment while he read the paper. So needless to say, I missed quite a few of my first period classes. And um, the counselor called me in and said, what's going on? You keep missing your class and you're a good student. What's going on? I said, well, I can read the book at home and sleep in late. I don't need to watch Coach Bryant read the paper. He can do that by himself. So I um, chose not to go in. I said, when he starts teaching, I will show up. He gets paid to be there. I don't. And so they moved me out of the class and put me in somebody else's class. But I, I just don't, I don't think your job is just to be there to give them what's on the test. You're supposed to make them want to do something. That's your job as a teacher, to teach. So I had a teacher who just tells you to do something but she doesn't explain you the work what you're supposed to do and help you she just sits down and is on the computer my senior year english teacher she is the worst teacher ever she didn't listen to her students she just criticized 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 and expected her students to do what she said they just kind of uh they're very they don't ever get to know their students and they just kind of teach the work without really uh, interacting. And I think that's, uh, that's not the type of teacher, that's not a good teacher. Well, that experience is when like a teacher, like, I had a teacher and she never taught me anything and she would just sit in her chair and like get on her computer and she wouldn't ball! talk to us. She'd just be like, do your work. And then she wouldn't help me. And... With somebody who was really hard to get in touch with, um, I was trying to email them and they just wouldn't respond to emails and it was really hard to go to their office hours and I was like skipping lunch and stuff to go to office hours so that was, I think it was just the lack of communication that really kind of turned me off in that class so. Being biased, government class, um, trying to influence us not to be liberal and giving us his point of views instead of just what teaching us about government and how it's run and he would just be like oh liberals suck and all these things uh, be more conservative taxes and all these I don't know it was not a good it was a fun class but it was not a good learning experience when someone did something they just pointed you know pointed one child out and that's who they continue to point out all the time and I don't think that's right the reason I do what I do with the young men is because of my own personal experience growing up and how I was trained, how I was educated. And I, I start by saying I was locked in a closet in the fifth grade uh, because they couldn't control my behavior. They couldn't control who I was. But the, the bottom line is they didn't understand me. They didn't understand that I was a quick study. And in doing so, as soon as I learned the lesson, I was looking for to, to get that boy energy out of, out of my system. I was looking to, to create havoc, right. primarily. Right. Uh, or whatever it was, just right. to test the limits and so forth. Um, I, I took teachers to the limit all the time mm -hmm. because they didn't really understand what, what was going on with me and they weren't, most of them didn't take the time to really study what was going on with me because they had 25 or 30 other kids in, in the room and they're trying to focus on everybody rather than focus on the kid who's creating the biggest habit, the bigger problem. My social studies teacher back in eighth grade, right, by me not able to understand or grasp, you know, social studies or science, I chose to skip that class, you know, because I didn't want to be around that teacher, right? So it escalated like, hey, I'm skipping now, so I might as well just, you know, continue skipping, you know, and then I, you know, I just, put school on the back burner. Start running the streets, getting drugs, all that there. But as I got older, you know, you know, I just clicked. I got to have an education in order to make it in this world. And like, if I, what I know now, back then I would have kept my, you know, stayed in school.